Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are unaware, my name is Patrick, aka Pat's Cosplay, and I make videos all about cosplay, helping you guys get introduced into the world of cosplay. So what better video to make than how to get started in cosplay in 2020? Because that's the year. Unfortunately. So before we get started, what exactly is cosplay? If you are unaware, it is essentially becoming a character from a TV show, movie, anime, book, whatever you are interested in, becoming that character and bringing it to life in your own way. So there are a couple of steps that I suggest you follow to have the ultimate experience when starting your cosplay journey. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is to choose a character. It seems pretty obvious, but it is the hardest part because choosing one thing out of a broad range of so many things is quite difficult. So what you're going to want to do is choose someone that you either resonate with or relate with in some sort of way or that you just think looks freaking cool. So for the sake of this video, we are going to choose Iron Man because Iron Man is my favorite character. I love the design. I love his suits. I love the character. I want to be Iron Man in real life. Like that's all I want. I just want to fly around and just go pew pew pew. All right, so now that you have completed step number one, you're going to want to move on to, well, step number two, and that is going to be researching the design of said character. So since I have chosen Iron Man, I would go into Google, YouTube, Instagram, and just search everything to do with Iron Man. I want to know exactly the shade of red and yellow that he is, or gold if you want to call it gold, as well as I want to figure out how to work out sort of mechanics, how I would open the uh, the face mask, flaps on the suit, lights, etc. You'd have to do quite a lot for an Iron Man suit, so I don't recommend that for a first one. It is quite difficult. It took me two and a half years to even start the Mark I that I'm making. It's a long process, I will say that. All right, so now that you have found the design of the character that you like the most and you want to bring to life, you need to move on to step number three, and that is researching cosplays that have already been made of that cosplay. This step is very crucial because it will give you the foundation to start building your cosplay from like perfection day one. The reason for that is that if all the Iron Man suits are 3D printed, then that might be the smartest route to go when making your suit. If you have seen that there are some that are made out of EVA foam and it's actually done pretty well, then yeah, sure, tackle that way. But if it's not done correctly, you're just kind of like working against yourself if you choose EVA foam, but no EVA foam looks good. All right, so now that all your research has been done, you've chosen your character, we need to move on to step number four, and that is poses of the character. You usually want to do this towards the end of the cosplay, like kind of like a week or two before the con, unless it's something that you need strength, I guess, to pose in. Let's say it's Spider-Man, you need to be able to, you don't need to be able to, but it's nice if you can do handstands, flips, anything like that. Those are definitely very difficult. If you cannot do them day one of starting your cosplay, I recommend starting day one on like practicing your poses by the end you'll be a master at posing as like Spider-Man or something like that. So once you actually go to start making your costume, you can go about this a couple different ways. The first method is the one that I actually do the most and that is purchasing cosplays. I purchase a lot of Spider-Man suits and a lot of like Zentai suits because one, they're very easy to cosplay. You just slip it on, you go to the con, you have fun, you go home. You don't have to worry about overheating. You don't have to really worry about it getting like any dirty or anything. You just throw the whole costume into the washing machine. On top of that, you can actually buy like full cosplays. I've bought like my Archer from Fate Stay Night. That was actually like my first full like cosplay purchased. So that was kind of cool that it like came out so well. I actually have an unboxing for it. It was actually my first video on this channel. I'll leave it in the description below if you want to check that out. And I hate that this has to be said, but there is nothing wrong with purchasing your cosplay fully out. You don't need to make a single thing on your cosplay for it to be your cosplay. All right, method number two is the easiest by far. If you want to just cosplay something that's kind of very low budget, this is definitely the route that you want to go. This will be able to get you started in cosplay and kind of work your way up to either buying a cosplay or making your first cosplay, and that is doing a closet cosplay. A few good examples of this would be like Dean Winchester, Sam Winchester, pretty much any, anyone from like Supernatural, mainly TV shows. Those are the easiest to cosplay unless it's like a superhero TV show. But let's take The Boys season two. For example, if you wanted to cosplay Butcher, it's pretty simple to go into your closet and find an outfit that looks similar to his. If not, hit up your local thrift store, Valley Village, anything like that. They have quite a lot of like 
jackets, shirts, pants, that will work for so many cosplays and it'll cost you like 25 bucks. So for my Tracer cosplay, I actually got the jacket from a value village, cut off the uh, arms to make it a little bit shorter to fit me a little bit better, and it came out pretty well and that thing was $12. A full jacket for $12. All right, moving on to method number three, and that is going to be making your cosplay. This is obviously going to be the most difficult way to do cosplay, but the sense of like being creative and creating something, for me personally, I like that so much. It is such like a fun process to do. If that's not for you, totally fine. Buy your cosplay, cause a cosplay, whichever one you, you want to do. If going down the route of making your cosplay, I recommend doing a ton of research. And I don't just mean researching the character design or researching people that have cosplayed them before. I recommend researching how to make specific things within like the broad cosplay spectrum. What I mean by that is like learning how to make resins, learning how to cut glue and paint EVA foam, learning how to Dremel, learning about LED basics. There is a ton of tutorials on YouTube. It is so worth it to take a month and research everything on how to make cosplays before you actually get started. Because when you start, if you're amazing, people are going to take notice. And what I mean by that is like social media presence. If that's what you're going for, definitely do an insane amount of research. That way when you like start at the gate, you're starting at a sprint. You're not, you know, leisurely walking. You're sprinting down doing insane things. There's absolutely nothing wrong with making cosplays to grow on social media. Nothing wrong with that. It can be turned into a business. I turned my YouTube channel into a business. So again, there's nothing wrong with going that route if that's what you want to do. If you just want to cosplay for the pure joy of cosplaying and you don't give a shit about any sort of social media presence, that's totally fine. Go that route. It's your cosplay. It's your life. Do what you want. Now, all this information is free on YouTube. I'll try to link a couple like basic tutorials on getting you started in cosplay to learn like LED basics, foam basics, pretty much everything like that. So method number four, that is going to be getting your cosplays commissioned by somebody else. Getting a cosplay commission is definitely a smart thing to do because the person that you're going to be getting it commissioned by usually knows what they're doing. So you're going to be expecting a really good product at the end result. The difference between buying your cosplay and getting commissioned is about two things. Um, if you're going to be buying it, you're usually going to be getting it quicker than getting it commissioned. If you're getting it commissioned, it's going to be more expensive, but the quality is going to be much higher. So you can either go with something that's a little bit cheaper, quicker, or something that's a little bit longer, more expensive, but better quality. And if I were to rate the quality like per scale, I would say like 5 out of 10 and like 9 out of 10 depending on who you get to commission your cosplay. At the end of the day, it is your cosplay, so do it your way and be sure to have fun with it. Go to cons when they happen, bring your friends, meet new friends. Cosplay really does bring people together for the, the smallest thing. Let's say I love Iron Man. I'm gonna meet at least 50 people at any convention that also loves Iron Man and could talk to them about it all day. If you wanna follow my Instagram and see what I'm currently up to, any new projects, any new photos, I'll leave it in the description of this video. That's gonna wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button for more videos all related to cosplay. Thank you guys for watching. Well, good luck with your cosplays.